Hang on a second. We want to warn you that this video is chock full of information. So if you check the description below, you'll find some links to skip directly to topics that you might be interested in. What do I need to know about my diagnosis? In this video, we're gonna give you some information about your diagnosis. Before we begin, just so you know, everyone's experience with psychosis is different. So attaching a specific name or label to a psychosis-related illness is not always accurate. At the same time, this uncertainty can create a great deal of anxiety and frustration for the individual experiencing symptoms, as well as their families. Psychosis, or psychotic symptoms, can actually take place in a wide range of mental health difficulties. However, the EPIC program focuses only on diagnoses in which psychosis is the primary symptom of the disorder. Bipolar 1 Disorder, or as you may have heard of it, Manic Depressive Disorder. That's the old school name for bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is characterized by extreme variations in mood, with episodes of severe depression, followed by episodes of elation and or irritability. These episodes are marked by problems with sleep, appetite, levels of physical activity, and behavior. During an episode of extreme elation, a manic episode, a person may have grandiose delusions and hallucinations that appear to confirm an exaggerated sense of importance or special powers. For example, a person may believe that the president has appointed him or her to organize a very important event. Sometimes a person experiences depressive and manic symptoms at the same time on a continuous rather than an episodic basis. We call that a mixed episode. Quite often, this is the case in early onset bipolar disorder. When this occurs in a young person, it makes diagnosis more difficult. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a severe brain disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. Schizophrenia may result in some combination of hallucinations, delusions, and extremely distorted thinking, which is typically inferred from disorganized speech. Effective communication can be impaired, and answers to questions may be partially or completely unrelated. Rarely, speech may include putting together a string of meaningless words that cannot be understood, but that the person believes is a fully coherent thought. We call that a phenomenon known as word salad. Furthermore, individuals with schizophrenia may display abnormal behavior, ranging from childlike silliness to unpredictable agitation. Behavior is not focused on a goal, which makes it hard to complete tasks. Abnormal motor behavior can include resistance to instructions, inappropriate and bizarre posture, a complete lack of response, or useless and excessive movement. For example, an individual may appear to lack emotion, which is called flat affect. They may also avoid making eye contact, not change his or her facial expressions, speak without inflection or in monotone, or not add hand and head movements that normally provide emotional emphasis in speech. Schizoaffective disorder is a chronic health condition characterized primarily by symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations or delusions, and symptoms of a mood disorder like mania and depression. The symptoms of schizoaffective disorder can be severe and need to be monitored closely. Depending on the type of mood disorder diagnosed, include hallucinations, delusions, disorganized thinking, severe depression, or manic behavior. Schizophreniform disorder. Schizophreniform disorder is a short-term type of schizophrenia that distorts the way a person thinks, acts, expresses emotions, perceives reality, and relates to others. When symptoms persist for longer than six months, the diagnosis is typically changed to schizophrenia. Brief Psychotic Disorder As the name suggests, brief psychotic disorder is a short-term illness with psychotic symptoms. Major Depressive Disorder with Psychosis For many people, depression starts with symptoms like sad mood or irritability and changes in sleep, mood, or appetite. These symptoms progress into more serious symptoms like helplessness, hopelessness, worthlessness, guilt, or suicidality. Should a person's illness remain untreated, their symptoms can become psychotic. In certain cases, psychotic depression can become a psychiatric emergency due to the increased risk of suicide associated with the illness. Symptoms of psychosis are usually mood congruent for depression, meaning that their themes are often negative and self-deprecating. This has been just a handful of examples of the different ways psychosis can present itself. As we said earlier, 
everyone's experience with psychosis will be different. Hopefully, this video gives you a better understanding of your diagnosis. Again, my name's Daniel, and this has been your Advantage Moment.